Oh, you do? Uh -huh. Are you going to share it with us? Uh, I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> uh, only a choice few know it. Ashley, do you know it? No, I don't know it. <laughs> but she does but know the weather for today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nice. yes, I do. Outside this morning, we do have the marine layer that is sitting over us, giving us kind of those overcast and hazy conditions out there. Not seeing it really dropping into the lower levels of the atmosphere. So not dealing with the fog that we have been dealing with over the past couple of mornings. Temperatures right now, we are seeing the mid 50s along the coast under overcast skies. We've got a mixture of low 50s to uh, some mid 40s for inland cities. The marine layer for today will be lifting uh, very quickly as we head into just the next couple of hours. We'll see it first move out of the inland, staying along the coast after 9 a.m. It'll be pushing away from the coast, and by the time that we head into 1 o'clock, we'll just be dealing with those mid level clouds along the coast. Otherwise, the rest of us will remain relatively clear and allow for our temperatures to be very seasonal for this time of year. Even going into tomorrow morning, you see the marine layer comes in a little bit that goes back out. We won't be seeing though it really spreading inland for tomorrow morning. So good news with that. Our weather pattern shows that the high pressure system that is sitting just off the coast of California is creating that nice ridge that keeps the storm system far to the north. Now it's going to begin to sink towards the south. The northwest flow develops. It keeps us breezy to gusty at times with our wind. And then heading into late Tuesday, we'll start to see the storm system that's pushing in. And as it does so, we'll watch it because the further it sinks towards the south during Tuesday and into early Wednesday is when we get that nice chance for some showers by the time that we head into the mid part of the week. Temperatures outside for today, many of us will be right around the seasonal average, but mid to upper 60s along the coast, and then we'll see upper 60s to low 70s for inland cities. Take a look at the seven day forecast. Very consistent with our temperatures heading into the start of the week, but the gradual cool down comes for the mid part of the week as that storm system moves in. It's the exact pattern we'll see for inland cities as well. It'll be just a light chance for showers on Wednesday and then things dry out as we head into the end of the week. Dan and Kristen. All right, thanks.